Yeah, hi. My name is Dylan Horvat, and I'm a diabetic. <laughs> Two years ago, I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. Six months after that, I was re-diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. Guess I leveled up. <laughs> no, they, they misdiagnosed me, but to be fair, they were only one off. Close enough. Type 1, type 2. But more than anything, they just made me realise how lazy naming conventions are for diabetes. So, uh, arthritis, you've got osteoporosis and rheumatoid. Cancer, you've got benign and malignant. Diabetes, you've got 1 and 2. They're like the side characters that don't have names. Whenever I tell anyone I'm diabetic, they always respond like I'm a child and needs to go to the toilet. Is it number one or number two? <laughs> it makes my kidneys work overtime and the medication gives me diabetes. It's both. But it's a scary diagnosis to have because like just one day in April 2020, I'm just there dying and hallucinating. My parents take me to the hospital and um, they start to do blood sugar tests. Now, a normal blood sugar test um, is for a diabetic is five to ten, right? So non-diabetics are usually around five. Mine was forty-three. So I'm just there in the hospital, just waiting for the doctor to come in and tell me. I'm just there on my phone, and he walks in. And I go, "All right, tell me, doc, what's wrong with me?" He goes, "Type one diabetes." So I did. O n e space d i a b e t e s. Now what? Now you have to stab yourself six times a day for the next six months. So I'm there in hospital for six days, uh, three days of which I had a catheter up my penis. Cool. Going, oh. Woo! Yeah, going right into the bladder and sucking out all the pee. Usually I pay a guy for that. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, the, the, the pee was just going into this box, this clear box that the doctors were just watching. Just one doctor said, it's like a movie, while well, he was watching it. One doctor looked at it and said, look at that, you can drink it. Two things doctors actually said about my piss. <laughs> and, um, uh, yeah, so when I finally got the catheter taken out, my dick looked like the Lord of the Rings character who'd been murdered. <laughs> I meant to say Game of Thrones, but you know what, both works. <laughs> uh, go to the toilet, pee for the first time. Uh, 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 a bit of blood comes with it, oh. like mixed together. It kind of looked like pink Moscato. Oh, yeah. And yeah, the nurses said, yeah, it's very, very normal for there to be trauma in that area after a catheter. So when people tell you about diabetes and the side effects, one side effect they never seem to bring up is dick trauma. Ooh. If you took every male who was pre-diabetic and said, if you get diabetes, you're going to have dick trauma... There would be no diabetics left, type 2 diabetics left. That male diabetics left. You know what, that's to be, that's to be a fair few diabetics, but those particular people <laughs> would feel like I am not having anything shoved up my dick hole. But that's called sounding. So yeah, when I got the diagnosis of type 1 diabetes, all my friends said the same thing. No energy drinks for you now, Horvat. Can't have those anymore. I went to the diabetes clinic and they were like, if your blood sugar level gets too low, feel free to have an energy drink. <laughs> it's like, I can still live my life, it's great. I've, I've, the past 10 years I've, just, I've had so many energy drinks and I've never collected the cans. That's such a common thing now to collect all the cans and bottles and sell them for 10 cents each once they're empty. It used to be only homeless people did that. They'd find <laughs> bottles and cans in the street or in bins and they'd sell them for 10 cents and that's how they get their money. Now we can't even let them have that. <laughs> that extra $2.50 a month is ours now. We, we can't even let the homeless have homes. Now we can't even let them have garbage. <laughs> so one of the worst things about diabetes is having to fast for diabetes. So when you nearly die of a disease, you have to have a few blood tests. So fasting for 12 hours, you're not allowed to eat any food, drink anything but water, which means you can't treat your diabetes for 12 hours. That makes no sense. I said to the doctors, like, you said if my blood sugar gets too low, I have to immediately have carbohydrates. And they're like, yeah, we did say that. We know. Ac again, actual response from a doctor I received. So at one point, I'm waiting for these 12 hours to get the blood test. My blood sugar keeps going down till it reached under two, uh, under three. It was two. Now, that's known as emergency level. That's known as the time it is to call an ambulance. So... As far as I know, I was about to die. 
Justin received his blood test that told me I'm actually type 2 diabetes, which is good because if I were type 1 diabetes, I wouldn't have known the result because I'd be dead. <laughs> so that's one of my near-death experience stories. Um, so the last thing I wanted to say about diabetes is that how much better type 2 is than type 1. Because I, I feel sorry for anyone for type 1 because they usually get it when they're a kid too. So type 2 happens... Well, it happened to me because I have a rare bone growth disorder called Russell Silver Syndrome that I was born with. So uh, it made me prone to diabetes. So I'm not like most people who get it from, you know, obesity, eating too much sugar, not enough exercise. That's just a coincidence. <laughs> so yeah, type, type 2, um, you, you can overeat and it happens to you. But the medication you get for you, it makes you lose weight. And so that's called Ozempic. I lost 14 kilo on Ozempic. But type 1 diabetes just happens to you, and there's nothing you can do about it. And the medication for that, insulin, it makes you gain weight. In the six months I was taking it, insulin made me gain 15 kilo. Ah. So, so yeah, type 2, you, you eat all you want, and you get diabetes, and then you lose the weight. Type 1, there's nothing you can do to prevent it, and they give you the weight gain juice. So when it comes to diabetes, the sequel is always better. <laughs> I'll give it back to Diana now, guys. <laughs>